Hi, in today's video I'm going to be talking about Emacs 29 transparency, setting tr transparency in the Alacrity terminal and also adding an image uh, to Firefox for blank pages and new tabs. So let's um, twitch across to the terminal and have a look at how this looks. <laughs> we go so that's what we're going to be doing setting transparency in alacrity so as you see it as I come out full screen here we've got 90% um, transparency in alacrity we also have transparency in Emacs 29 and we also have a nice image as a background for Firefox so how do we do that so let's crack on and have a look so the first one I'm going to take a look at is Alacrity. So if I come across to config alacrity alacrity.yml, what we'll do is come across down here and you'll see under the Windows section, what we have is a setting for opacity. So we just set the opacity to 0 0.9 and that's going to show your background um, desktop image um, in Alacrity. That's nice and easy. Next one we're going to have a look at is um, Emacs 29. So in Emacs 29, uh, config Emacs init.el, what we got here is add to list default frame a list alpha background dot 90%. And what I found is you want to actually hide the menu bar because if I enable the menu bar, what you'll see, uh, menu bar mode, what you'll see is the opacity doesn't actually cover the menu bar up here. It's um, set by something else. So I never use the menu bar, so I just hide that. So menu bar mode, turn that off. So what we do, is we hide the menu bar with menu bar mode dash one. And then Emacs 29, which I showed you how to build on a previous video. What we do is we do add to list, default frame, a list, alpha, um, alpha background dot 90%. And that's going to give us a nice uh, transparency effect in Emacs as well. So what we're going to do next is have a look at Firefox, which is a bit of a pain. So what we've got here is Firefox. And as you can see, when I open a new tab, I've got an image there. So what we're going to do is have a look at how you do that. So what I'm going to do firstly is just mention where I got these from. So this is a uh, post by Christopher. I'm not going to mispronounce your surname, mate, um, about true Emacs transparency. And this was uh, linked from a Reddit thread. And basically what you've got down here is um, code to set for the current frame, set frame nil, alpha background 100%, or the one we're using here with it set to 90%. And he's also de um, defined a toggle here, which I'm not actually using, uh, that you could add to a key binding that would allow you to toggle the transparency on and off. So that's where I got um, the Emacs hint from. Now the Firefox one I'm going to be covering here is from um, Jayhawk4080, um, how to set a custom background image in Firefox. So this is where I um, got a bit of the code from, which I actually tweaked a bit because I found it wasn't working for my particular setup. So what I'm going to do is just come across here and come across to the settings. And in my settings, uh, is it home? Yeah. So in uh, Firefox settings home, what you can do is set the home page and new page and new tabs to a blank page. So what I'm going to do is switch across here. And what we need to do is a couple of things. So let me just come out of this and go into my Mozilla Firefox directory. So two things you need to do. Um, 
Let me come across to user JS. So in Firefox, what you can do is you can go to about config um, and set um, preferences. But what you can also do is put those preferences in a user.js file and then add them to the Firefox profile directory and it will do the same thing. So the first thing we're doing here is user pref toolkit legacy user profile customization dot style sheets true. So you can either search for that in about config, but my preferred way is to actually put it in a user JS file because this allows you to keep all the settings um, you've added because it's very easy to forget what you've um, how you've customized Firefox using about config. And the other thing for Firefox 106 is to hide the tab manager, um, which is like a little tab um, thing that comes up that I didn't want. So I'm disabling that. So that's the first thing you do need to do is enable legacy user profile customization style sheets. And once we've done that, what we can do is create a Chrome directory in the Firefox profile. And the way you find um, the Firefox profile directory is by going about profile, about profiles rather, about profiles. And what this will do is this will show you the location and the name of the current profile. And you can just do open directory. That should open. Yeah, so that opens in a Nautilus. And you can see here, there's the user JS file. And here's the Chrome directory that we um, created. And what we're going to do is we're going to have um, a directory called IMG where we're going to put the image. Um, we've got the user chrome.css and the user content.css. So let's switch across to Emacs and open that up. So what we've got here is the user chrome.css is for styling the interface of Firefox. And you would think that the settings would go in there, but they don't. They go in user content CSS, which is typically where you can add styles to override particular um, websites. So you can, for instance, override YouTube or DuckDuckGo or um, things like the Arch Wiki. Um, and what we're doing here is we had this block of code at moz document url about home url new tab url about blank and url about private browsing and this is the one that i actually had to add uh, about blank because as i said in my settings i've got firefox to show a blank page on new tabs um, so that's the one thing we had to i had to add and here's the block of code that I uh, pinched from that uh, video on YouTube. And what you need to do is just whack this bit basically in and you create a image directory IMG and you put the image in there and then basically just put in the put in the name of the image. So this is the block of the code and I'll link to all this. So we just put that in our user content.css file after we've enabled the um, legacy style sheets dot option and then restart Firefox is going to pick up the changes. So as you can see here, if I close uh, this window, whenever I open a new tab, uh, we've got the image here. So that's how we do that. Very easy to do. Um, it's much easier to set the image in Chromium. So if I come across to Chromium here, open up Chromium, you'll see I've got the image uh, set here. In Chromium, what you want to do is come down to the bottom right and you do customize this page and then just do upload from device and upload your image. So it's really easy in Chromium but it requires a bit more work in Firefox. So, <clears throat> excuse me, that's the steps we need to go through. So for Emacs, we've got this block of code here, which we added to our Emacs um, init.el file. So let's come across and just switch back and go through, if I can 
get focus on that. So uh, for Emac uh, config Emacs init.el, we did two things. We hide the menu bar because, as I showed you, um, this setting doesn't go over the menu bar. There must be something else for that. But since I never use it, I just disable the menu bar. And then again, you need Emacs 29 for this to work. Add to list dash, um, you know, quote default dash frame a list quote uh, alpha dash background dot and then 90 percent. And that's going to give us uh, this effect here. So if I come out of full screen, um, as you can see, we got transparency here. So that's um, Emacs. And again, dot config, alacrity, alacrity. Very easy for alacrity. Under the window settings, we just put opacity to 0 0.9. And that's going to take effect um, without you needing to do a restart or anything, but it's got live reloading. And again, for Firefox, what we needed to do was, if I come back here, uh, what we got is the user.js. You add this section here to enable custom style sheets. This one down here, the user pref browse tab manager, that get rid get gets rid of the little uh, tab manager thing here, you know, um, that shows up in Firefox 106 that I didn't like, so I disabled it. So that's the user JS, and again, you can, um, if you want to set these for about config, if I come across here, copy this, go to about config, paste that in, and you'll see it's got a Boolean value, true or false, um, and we just set it to true. So that's set to true from the user JS file, uh, but you can also do this manually just by going to about config. Then what we did was we had the Chrome directory. You create the Chrome directory. And in there, we've got the image IMG directory with the image you want to use. We've got the user chrome.css. And this is used for um, disabling things um, in Firefox. So you can, for example, um, remove a lot of the contextual items from the Firefox menu. So when I come across to Firefox here, you'll see I just have um, these options instead of a load of things like email and um, stuff like that. So this is how you can move um, all those options like uh, send image, bookmark link, take screenshot, all that stuff you don't need in the contextual menu. But the, the file that we need to use to override the background is the user content.css so again this is the section here at moz document url about home url about new tab url about blank page url about private browsing so you could set um different images for each one of these if you wanted to um but i'm just setting them setting the same image for all of them and we've got this body um, before context. You want the important so that it actually overrides everything. And again, all we have here is the background, the URL, IMG, the name of the image. And that's obviously this directory here. So IMG. Okay. And that's all there is to it. So if I open a new private window here, you'll see I have um, the image um, in the private window as well and on the new tabs so that's how you can set transparency in Emacs 29 uh, in Alacrity and also add an image to your um, Firefox new tab you know uh, blank page setup so again let's have a little final rundown with some more Miggy
Okay, so that's the that's the uh, Miggy Almiron song, uh, if you didn't know. So that's how we can get transparency nicely in Lackety, Emacs, and have a nice um, image there. And the reason why I want to do that is because, you know, you, you might set a nice image for your favorite team, whatever it is. You open the full screen window and you can't see the image. And um, that's a bit annoying. So I wanted to see uh, this image of the war flag, um, the Miggy war flag um, up at St. James's Park. So set the uh, transparency there. We can see it. We can see it in uh, Emacs. Um, again, this is 90%. And um, I think that looks, I think the term is badass. Um, it just looks really nice like that. A um, bit more interesting than having a solid background color. Still easy to read. And again, we then got uh, that in Firefox as well. And also set in Chromium. Okay, so nice and easy to do. It doesn't take um, that long. But again, you're going to need to use uh, Emacs 29 uh, for true opacity. I think there's a sort of uh, sort of cludged version in previous versions that doesn't work as well. But this is where I got the links from true Emacs transparency and also how to set a custom homepage background image in Firefox from Jayhawk uh, 4080, which you did that about six months ago. But I did make a little tweak or two to the code that he used. So that's all for now. I'll put links to all this uh, under the video so that you can just copy and paste the um, settings across into Alacrity, into Emacs 29, or into Firefox. So I'll put links to all this under the video and hope that helps pimp your desktop a bit.